Hey guys, it's Rob Sipek with Paperless Student. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through my experiences writing in good notes versus writing the same set of notes in Notability. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business. And if you already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. In my previous video, I was very excited about Good Notes 5. Most of you guys picked up on that. And in the same spirit, I decided to explore Good Notes 5. I was just super excited to start using it. Since Good Notes had an upgraded fountain pen, me thought Good Notes will be perfect for my final notes. I can get to keep using Notability because of the audio recording function, which in my opinion is irreplaceable, and my rough ugly notes will remain in Notability. I set out on a journey to create my first final study notes in Good Notes 5. And this is how it all went down. First, I had to find my rough notes in Notability. For those of you that are not familiar with this digital filing system, I basically use it to help me organize my rough notes. I have 366 pages in this particular notes and trying to find a topic through this is a pain. I usually don't search for anything. I prefer knowing where everything is and this system helps me to organize and navigate through all my topics. And if you want to learn more about this filing system, I will put a link to those videos in the description down below. So once I found the topic that I wanted, I went on to open GoodNotes 5, our star of the moment. I did a bit of housekeeping in the application, deleted stuff that I don't need in the application, and then I was ready to start. So I created a folder called Final Study Notes, and then I created another subfolder called Dermatology because that is the topic I was going to be studying on, or the topic I was going to be writing notes on. And then I went on to, to create my notebook, and I chose an A4 square paper in portrait mode, and then I went on to close the tabs that I didn't need. I zoomed in the paper because I always like using my paper sizes like 100% so I don't, I don't zoom in or zoom out when I'm writing my notes. In this split view, the 25 to 75%, I find that if I zoom in onto my A4 paper until it fills the whole 75% side of my screen, this gives me the 100% size of an A4 paper. And obviously I was going to use the fountain pen. Finding the perfect size was a challenge for me. I really just prefer being given fixed pen sizes than having the option to customize my own pen sizes. Since my classification required a bit more space on the sides, I decided to rotate the paper into landscape mode. I hope the Notability team is taking some notes on this, seriously, because this function is very important very very important the fountain pen in good notes 5 feels much better than the one in good notes 4 i'm just trying to walk you guys through everything i'm doing on the screen as it happens so stay with me being an avid notability user i found this the switching to the shapes tool every time i want to draw a straight line annoying and i forgot to switch back too many times then i have to undo and rewrite what i just wrote I guess it, it takes time to get used to it, but I do prefer the way Notability does this. I loved drawing those arrow heads though. Is that weird? I mean, I definitely enjoyed watching them spring to life. Those arrows were fun to draw. I wish my whole notes was just arrows. Honestly, this shapes tool in GoodNotes 5 for straight lines is inferior to the one in Notability. Totally missed Notability. Each time I drew a line in this application in GoodNotes 5, it was a pain. So my handwriting has a bit of lag, which frankly I stopped noticing after a short while. So while at first glance the lag is noticeable, it didn't bother me to dislike my writing experience. As I was writing, I, was, I just felt like the experience could be improved. I can't put my finger on it, but there's just something missing that made writing in this application a bit difficult.
the handwriting is much better in good notes 5 it's just not as perfected as the one in notability in my opinion especially for my handwriting it could be how i hold my pen uh, it could be that it's a new application however my instincts on writing are usually not wrong and i don't need five hours of writing in an application to know if it will work for me five minutes is enough and i quickly got disappointed and this is the part where i start crying Okay, I'm joking, I'm not going to cry, but <laughs> um, for those of you wondering if I'm leaving Notability, the answer is no, not yet. Unfortunately, for Good Notes 5, I'm not leaving Notability, and fortunately, for Notability, I'm still a fan. Most of you guys have complained about the vertical scrolling, it's not as smooth as Notability, and it's definitely not continuous um that doesn't seem to bother me much though but uh, what did bother me is adding a new page in this regard i would say notability is superior is it just me or does this page template look faded in some parts of the screen but not in others especially in the middle it's it's not faded in the middle and it's it's faded at the bottom and at the top i'm curious is is this a bug or is it a design you know trying to give this template somewhat a natural look and here's my favorite feature in GoodNotes, probably because Notability just starves us of this basic necessity. The page editing tool. In the middle of my note taking, I noticed my page wasn't going to be enough for all the information I needed to fit onto it. Not a problem in GoodNotes 5. Just change the page template for that one page. I had to rearrange my notes after that. Why can Notability just have this feature? Is it too much to ask for? To change the orientation of my pages, to change individual page templates. Honestly, is it too much to ask for? It took me a while to write this small section. My handwriting wasn't hurting and this is a good thing, but I can't say that my writing experience was natural. Not at all, it wasn't. I was planning to use Good Notes 5 for writing my final notes, but unfortunately I can't. I had to fidget a lot with my Apple Pencil trying to find a suitable way to hold my Apple Pencil and this was just a pain. By the way, if you're interested in purchasing my final study notes, make sure you check the links in the description down below. I sell my study notes on Etsy and on Stuvia. Because my handwriting in GoodNotes was so troublesome, I decided to repeat the same process for Notability after a bit of rest, of course. And the moment I added my second window onto my screen, I knew I'd been lying to myself about living notability. It felt good to be home. Home being notability. For those of you that missed that, just so we're all on the same page. Since I had already done the section in Good Notes 5, it honestly it was easier to just copy it out from there instead of going through the whole process of trying to recreate this. As I zoomed in, I noticed the percentages for the zoom in function in Notability have disappeared. No. For those of you that are not aware, Notability did an update earlier this year that allowed us to zoom in and zoom out a lot more. They basically improved their zooming function and the zooming function came with percentages. I depended on those percentages for guidance. Please, Notability team, bring them back. And then the miraculous smart shapes too. I had missed that for the hour that I was using GoodNotes. 
forgive my excitement. I'm going to call this the Smart Shapes tool because it is smarter than the one in GoodNotes 5. And while I was still excited about the Smart tool, I realized that I was going to miss my perfect arrows in GoodNotes 5 though. Mixed emotions. I'm writing faster in notability. This is also probably because I am familiar and very comfortable in this application. But I've always been though since, since day one. Even the ball pen in notability, which I absolutely dislike, is better for me than the good notes fountain pen. Of course, my love for notability quickly turned sour because there is just not enough space to write on and there is absolutely nothing I can do about it in this application. And that is annoying. Not having options to customize my pages or rotate them or have different page templates in one document is, in my opinion, Notability's biggest weakness. I think my handwriting looks better in Notability. I could be biased. What do you guys think? It is easier for me to write in Notability than it is in GoodNotes 5 even with this improvement, but I'm not giving up on GoodNotes 5 yet. It might just take some getting used to. So for this reason and many other reasons that I will give in the comparison video that I will do of the two applications, I am sticking with Notability for a couple of more months. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what your experiences have been writing in these two different applications. Are you liking the writing experience in GoodNotes 5? I would love to know.